This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 20, The Design, the Game Design Process, Part 9. All right, let's hit Run and see what our code does. I gotta know. Okay, so this is what we've been working on. Cool. Let's see what we're doing. Touching the cake. If enemies get all the way across to the cake, you should place them back at the left side of the screen and decrease the score. To start, you'll write code for only one of your enemies. Do this. Inside the enemies touch cake function, you'll need to write code that checks when the ladybug is touching the cake. Reset its position and change its score. Use an if and is touching to detect whether the enemy has touched the cake. All right, so let's pause right now and find enemies touch cake function. Okay, so where's that function? Uh, enemies touch cake. All right, and this chunk of code will only run when something else calls it. So our draw loop always runs. So once our draw loop starts running, it's going to call game background function. And it goes, the computer looks for that function, finds this, runs the code inside, gets thin, and then goes back and runs the next thing, enemy touch cake. So function, you'll need to write, yep, use an if, okay, so we want an if statement here. If enemy one, okay, is touching cake. Okay, if enemy one is touching cake. Set the enemy's X position, okay, that would make sense. So the computer runs the enemy's touch cake function and it's going to check if enemy one touching cake. If the enemy one is touching the cake, the computer says true and will run any code inside of this. If the enemy is over here and not touching the cake, the computer says false and skips whatever code's inside of this and then runs anything below it. Okay, so we need a uh, sprites X. And we're going to set our sprites X, which is enemy one to zero. Set the enemy's Y position back to a random got it. So we want the Y position, just like we had earlier, we did it in the last level. It's going to be a random number between 150 and 250, because those are the possibilities uh, to be on the road. 150 to 250. Okay. Use the counter pattern to decrease the score by two. Oh, that's harsh. And so what's that? Well, we have this variable up here. We must. Where's the variable? Score, okay, equals zero. And I bet at some point, if we knock an enemy off, we get points. However, if an enemy reaches the cake, the score needs to drop by two. So what we got to do for that then is double equal sign is to compare stuff. We don't want to compare. We need... Oh, uh, under variables is the equal sign. So we want, if the enemy is touching the cake, we want our variable called score. And then we want to use math. And we, this is kind of weird, but we're going to set it equal to score minus two. So what that does is if enemy one touching cake, what happens is score. Well, first we reset enemy's X position to zero. Y position is a random number. And then score is going to equal whatever score equal before, but it subtracts two. It then returns the function and runs all the code beneath it. Okay, and hint, you can reuse some of the code you already wrote. Yeah, if we wanted to copy and paste. Test your code, one of your ladybugs should reset if it gets to the cake. Let's see. Whoops, what happened there? Oh, hmm. Yep, we don't have anyone named Sprite. Let's try that. Oh, I don't like how they spawned. I can't see them. Haha, <laughs> it works! Awesome. So, this was the code. I'm gonna reset. This was the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.